And of course, the web service is planning like 10 years down the road to switch from a forecast on detection, basically how some eyes or local radar are seeing the storm and warning based on that, to warning on forecasts to the point where the numerical models would be accurate enough that feed in all the, the Doppler radar data, all the available data, and it will predict the supercells and predict the tornado development from that and be able to increase the lead time uh, well beyond this 13 minutes that it is now or you know where the limitations would be on detection. So I don't think we're done advancing or improving either. I think there's still many you know, games yet to come. What we need to do, and maybe the communications at this point haven't kept up, but they may get there, is uh, we know the numbers. The, the people are not constantly watching television to, to be hearing the, the buzzers go off on the weather channel for the warning for your location. We know the percentages are low for people that have no other radios. <coughs> and so, uh, we're quickly getting to the point where our ability to know what's going to happen exceeds the ability to alert people to that possibility. So there's room there for improvement, and hopefully some new technologies will make it so that, uh, you know, what, there's a, uh, some of those exist right now. The Weather Channel has a, a you can subscribe to notify and we'll call, but there are limitations to that sort of phone up system that it, Tornado was going right into the heart of downtown Chicago. How many of those notifications can we have for the phone system or whatever tolerate? Could you warn everyone? So there are some challenges to try to be taking an active feed the warning type of system. So, but hopefully there'll be some gains in along that that way as well. Especially because the localities are getting more and more at night, out of season type of, of, of things. So hopefully we can make progress there too. My name is Jed Barkley, and I'm into severe weather and stuff. And I wanted to know, you know, I'm kind of the senior at UNC, really. Um, you know, as far as requirements, if, should I ever seek a job, you know, with the Weather Channel? How do they match up on par with the NWS requirements that you see or need? Well, I think uh, the question was job requirements or job hiring requirements, the Weather Channel versus. Uh, the National Weather Service. I don't think it's, it's not really easy to get into either to. of those at, at this point. I think there's lots of, because of the visibility of meteorology as a science, there's lots of people that are interested in that as a career. Uh, and so it's not going to be easy to get in either one. Uh, the turnover in the National Weather Service is not uh, that high.